Hello YouTube, it's us again. It's Jane, who's just finishing off a biscuit. Hello. <laughs> and Ian. Um, and this is the last show of our day, third show of today, which is day six uh, of our Edinburgh Fringe soiree. Is it not a soiree? No. Well, we said that we... Um, we, we, said, we said Odyssey. We said Odyssey, but I didn't want to say Odyssey anymore. I wanted to say something else. Anyway. Not a soiree. Okay, so, right. This was Hugh Davies album for my ancestors brackets dead now um i i i definitely picked this um and i thought i was going to a different show if i'm honest <laughs> well, so, did I. so um i'll read you what it says um but i and i think we may have had a press email or something like that was how i'm you know so I think that's how I would have picked up on it. Okay. Because you you didn't pick up on it in the in nope. that right. So <clears throat> so it says nominee Edinburgh Finch first best newcomer 2019. After multiple sellouts, five star stand up comedy shows, two apparently, Hugh Davis uh, is recording his first ever music album. That's the thing that got me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously. Obviously, being in, you know making records, and. Everyone's allowed to watch and pay. Armed only with his signature wearable keyboard, an Edinburgh Best, new, best Newcomer nomination, uh, a baffling lack of charisma, I'm not sure about that, uh, and a, resident, a residency on Cats Does Count. Now, I've never seen him before. Is that Cats Does Count? Though? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. apparently. Yeah. Will Hugh deliver a show again? Question mark. Yes. And then we've got some uh, reviews. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't quite know what, what I expect, what to expect, but what, but this wasn't it. No, well, I missed the bit about him wearing the keyboard. I thought we were going to see somebody sort of tell us a bit of history, and you know about interesting stories about ancestors and music that he'd written about them. Well, I mean, it, it, it is, it's comedy. In that uh, and it's, it's basically music, stand up it's, comedy. it's musical it's, it's the break it's, it's comedy bracketed musical comedy stand up yeah okay so which is exactly what it to say on the tin i just don't know for some reason i thought that there was um well something i mean i knew something was afoot when um we went and the venue um was pleasant's courtyard it was it was one that we the upstairs which we seen two shows on yeah so i knew what it looked like expecting to see an array of musical instruments yes and so whatever. did i actually i'll be honest at least a keyboard and you know a couple of amps blah 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 um and there was nothing nothing on stage <laughs> and at i all. thought have we got the right show yeah yeah i mean i have to say that um i thought it was absolutely i mean he's i mean he's, we started we, we came, he came he came out and uh, and he sort of like a, like a lot of comedians, he tried to build up the audience, right? Because he's doing the voiceover for, Robert, for himself, right? And he came out and he started playing and he, he was get, trying to get everybody to clap and we weren't all clapping, so he stopped us. And he made us do the start of the show again. And I, I think all the way through, he did say we were the worst audience that he's ever had, right? So that's where we were, you know? But I, I absolutely loved him. I thought he, I thought his delivery was was really good. His interaction with the audience was fantastic. Some of it was slightly improvised around what was going on with the song. He kept making mistakes with the, the, the which I'm assuming was put on. I don't think it was put on. I think those mistakes was probably genuine. But I, I generally don't think that they mattered. Oh, no, you know, no, no, um, no, 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 no. It I may well have been put on, but I actually, I thought I, and he was using a, um, a Casio, a Casio uh, CS1000 one, one one keyboard, which is, you know, they're a few hundred quid, but they're, they're very much a home keyboard. I mean, I have to say, it sounded great. The, the, the drum patterns on it sounded really, really impressive over a PA system. Yeah. Um, and we won't give this away, because no. it's fun, but one of the keys he says has gone wrong <laughs> yeah. and it said it there's a sound yeah which we won't yeah. say what it is no. but it, that is quite funny no. uh, i mean and he i mean i just loved his delivery and because and he would remonstrate with us if we got something wrong as an audience which sort of slightly, slightly puts you on edge 
not in a not in a threatening way, really. No. You know? no. Although at one point he did say, "Are there any reviewers in?" And I looked to you, and then we kept very quiet. We kept very quiet. We sh I don't think we should have done. I think we should have put our hands up. No. Uh, anyway, but that, um, so so we were slightly on edge by some of by by getting it wrong in Hugh's for, for Hugh really. Yeah. Um, but, I, but he, for all it was really stand up, and he did some songs, but they were funny. Um, you know, he these sort of home written songs. That, I mean, he and it was a deliberate it the was, way he'd yeah. written them. I mean, I, and you I'm, know, they might finish early before you yeah, you were expecting, yeah. or you know, they didn't quite rhyme, or they were just about subjects yeah. that just. I mean, made you they laugh. were. I mean, the song. I think the, the songwriting was great. I mean, the, as comic songs, they were superb. Now, by comparison. We actually went to a show last night, which we aren't reviewing, and that was comedy um, songs, and is a league apart from what we've seen tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we both came out feeling slightly un uneasy about mm -hmm. those songs, whereas Hugh can certainly deliver to an audience. I thought he was... And he and the, even... Was, sorry to interrupt. Gone. Yeah, yeah. He even sort of... He he sailed close to the wind in oh, my did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in my yeah, book. Yeah, did. Uh, yeah, I thought you know might, yeah. a couple of times. Yes, yeah. because he mentioned Hiroshima and um, I mean it was sort of in context, but a, you know this sort of Hiroshima and comedy. And Pearl know, Harbor wasn't it? Pearl Harbor. Yeah. So. Um, but he, he pulled it off. I'm yeah. not saying it worked. Oh, I know. I think I think it worked. But, well, I yeah, because I mean, I was yeah. probably the only yeah. person in the room who yeah. just thought, mm, yeah. not sure about yeah. this. But then, you know, I'm not sure about a lot of things yeah. like that. I'm a bit oversensitive. But I just feel that there is sometimes, you know, anyway. I mean, certainly his before. command of an audience. But but he didn't push it. He he didn't. You know, it might get mentioned, and then he'd sort of he'd know. He he knew. What he was doing. Yeah, he knew, he, I mean, he knew, how to, know, work, he knew so, how to work the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah he he he, he he did. He was yeah. very very good at that. And at one point, there was a girl who sat on the front row, two people down from us. And I, I genuinely, because she, he got, he handed the mic over to her, and he got to tell a story about slugs. Now, I genuinely thought, because she was so sort of confident in telling mm. that story to an audience of strangers. I actually thought she was a plan and she, she I don't think she was. No, I don't think no. she was. I no. mean, and, but it was, I mean, and, and it, that was funny. So, you know, that that sort of stuff can go wrong if you've got the wrong person mm. that you hand the mic over to, you know. But no, I thought he was absolutely But, you know, and that happened again with, I mean, I felt a bit nervous sitting in the front row, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. um, and then another girl a bit further um, he was trying to, he was getting us to click our fingers, yeah. which, I mean, as you can, I, well, actually, that, usually I can't make a sound. Anyway, just a girl on the road, he approached her and he was just indicating, you know, click your fingers. And he got quite close to her and, and she sort of lifted her arm and he made a whole comic thing out of that, you know, what were you doing? Yeah, he stopped the song, we had a conversation. You know, what, where, were you gonna take, yeah. Why were you yeah. going to take my hand? I'm asking you to click fingers. <laughs> yeah. And very cleverly, a bit later on, you know, so we're all clicking our fingers to this song, he actually came up and then surprised her by actually <laughs> taking it. her hand, <laughs> which was very clever <laughs> yeah, and very funny. Yeah. And then got her to stand up and then walked mm. with her. Yes, he did. You know, yeah. which she quite obediently... But it, but it was a very, it was, it was very quick it was, of him yeah. to make, you know, yeah. um, and that's I mean, just he's the, really you know, good, he's really um, quick. I have to say, once I'd sort of got over the fact that this wasn't a musical evening, well, <laughs> it was, it was, yeah, but not quite the musical evening I'd mm. expected, um, and thought, okay, this is stand-up comedy. I hadn't sort of got my head round that. It was actually very funny. Um, yeah, no, I. I I enjoyed it immensely. Yeah, I did too. So I'll tell you when it's on, then we, then we can do and the stuff. And he was stars. very popular. He went down incredibly oh, well. Oh, yeah, it was, and and actually, it was full. It was pretty much sold and he out. And he did ask, didn't he? He said, who's seen me before? Yeah. And, and ooh, a good third yeah. 
of the yeah. of the room, put the hands up. Yeah. So he's obviously one of these people that's very popular, and people come back to see. Well, actually, the, the guy I was talking before the show started, I was talking to the, to the guy next door, who yeah. was Rachel's dad. Oh yeah. Because Rachel went, was at university with him, and actually he said, "Oh, you're Rachel. I used to work at university together." So, but Rachel's dad was saying that he'd seen him several times oh. and thought he was really, really oh, good. Right, you yeah. know, and I said, so I hadn't seen him. It was, you know, yeah. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, the people, there were people in there that had obviously were fans and come back. Because yeah, he said right at the end, he says, you know, do all the social media stuff and it's all word of mouth, no matter how much you fly, he says, and I'll see you all next year. So that was quite a nice touch, actually. And for the first time ever, he said, I'm going to recommend a couple of shows that you oh, want to yeah, see, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I think is a really nice touch and more and more yeah. acts need to do that. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know, I think that's the first time we've seen anybody do that yeah, this time. Yeah, true, true. You know, uh, it, that was, that's just a really quite a nice, he said, I saw so and so and so and so, yeah. and I saw somebody else today and they, both those shows were really good, so go see them, so, which was really nice actually, so yeah. Um, right, so he's on at 9.40 every day, Pleasance Courtyard upstairs. Um, it's on right the way through the fringe till the 25th. Um, it's two for one oh, that's today, been, been so you've been and gone. Stop now. Yeah, so missed that. The only day it's not on is the 14th, and the regular price is £12, concession £11. Uh, so, really, really good. How many stars? Um, I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought it was really. I, I thought you might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was completely good. And Hugh, we're coming back next year, mate. <laughs> you know, if you see this. So uh, yeah, no. I mean, you're on our radar now. So you, you know, we'll start stalking you every, every, every time we come to the fringe. So I thought it was great. Is, is it? Sorry. I mean, just sorry. Can I just check something? Mm -hmm. Huge. You called him Hugh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Huge. <laughs> I've been calling you the whole time. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Did you? I don't think you said before, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, huge. Yeah. Sorry. I, well, I didn't notice, yeah. you, notice you do that before. So yes, sorry. So that was my mistake. Right. So, well, okay. thanks for thanks for pointing that yeah. out, Jay. Um, anyway, moving swiftly on. A um, couple of shows tomorrow. We know for sure. Maybe three. Um, thanks so much for watching. All of the other videos that we've done so far at this Edinburgh Fringe are linked down below. You, so you can go and look at some of them. Most of them are four and five stars. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, we've, I mean, uh, it, yeah. We, we're always blown away by how many really, really good four and five star shows that we see. Yeah. And there are a few threes. Um, I mean, no twos at all this year so far. No. Just mm -hmm. one show that we, we 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 won't review. And yeah, we'll and we that. didn't actually go as reviewers. We didn't go as reviewers. We would have reviewed it had we really liked it, but we didn't think yeah. it was fair. No. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, yeah, everybody might go. Oh, what's that? What's that? We're not going to tell you. So it's, it's done and gone. We'll never mention it again. See you tomorrow. So if you come into the fringe and you see us, say hello. Yeah. Say yeah. hi. Yeah. It'd be nice to see. You. Okay, and thanks very much, oh by the way, and thanks very much for those people that have been commenting and telling us shows that they, they think we should go and see. We're going to try and see some of the, some of the shows that people are, people are recommending to us. We have, we have, we're pretty full right mm, the way through yeah, until our end. Yeah. And the two days where we did five and six shows half killed me. So we really are going to stick to, to no more than four shows really. Yeah, um, yeah, it's just... So it's, it's the editing and trying to get them up as quickly as possible that causes all the problems. So, um, and plus, a lot of the shows are at the same time. Like, yeah, like there's sort of, very popular times that makes it very sort difficult. Of, sort of five, six o'clock, um, it's pretty much, we've got shows booked the whole time right the way through, you know. Um, so, anyway, see you all tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.